there's a yard sale and we're currently in Tampa. I told Justin we should stop because you never know what they have that people in our city don't have. And he said crap and I said yes, but Tampa crap. Before we start our big unschooly summer 2024 adventures, tomorrow with Bush Gardens, we're gonna give the car a little bit of a cleanup because she needs it. Our car is summer 2024 ready. Honestly, this is just perfect. So promising for our trip to Bush Gardens tomorrow. It's the morning of Bush Gardens. We have beautiful weather, beautiful clear skies. We are getting everybody ready and into the car. Cypher is inside, the last person getting dressed. We need to get the girls to their friend's house and go and get Jason from his mom's house so that we can hit the road towards Bush Gardens. We got this new bathing suit for Jason secondhand. And because Goodwill sucks and they took their dressing rooms out, he couldn't try it on there. And then when they got home, it was forgotten about. And now we're dealing with it this morning. Oh. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah I got it out. So. Just cut a small hole off to the side, yeah. hold it out there. Yeah. Look at their bright colors that they're wearing. We'll be able to pick them out in a crowd. That is one of my biggest tips for going to theme parks or any kind of large crowded place with children is put them in bright colors. I always suggest putting toddlers in the same color clothes. Currently, our ETA on I-4 is 9.52 a.m. Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay opens at 10 a.m. We have a couple of friends that are meeting us there. Malachi doesn't really like roller coasters like Jason, myself, and Justin like. So with our extra tickets that we had, we thought it would be best to invite Malachi's friend who also doesn't really like roller coasters. And then throughout the day, we can make sure that Malachi is with somebody that he can be happy with if we want to both scoot off and ride roller coasters with Jason. We have two all-day dining deal passes, which should be plenty for the four of us in this car. And then our friend said that they will be getting their own for themselves throughout the day. We also have our refill cups for the day. We got this purple one last year when we went for like 20 bucks. You buy a cup and then all day long on the first day, your refills are free. And then I found this one recently at a thrift store for 50 cents in our area. And I knew that we were going to be going back to Bush Gardens. So I figured having two of these cups on hand was not going to be a bad thing. So the six of us should be set all day long with plenty of water to drink. Plus any lemonades or sodas or anything that we might want throughout the day as well. Justin and I both had to go to the bathroom, so we stopped in at a gas station and now the boys are grabbing drinks and snacks. And I'm thinking about a taquito. It's been a really long time since I've had a taquito. You never ever get taquitos. I know, I never get taquitos. That's so funny that Thanks, dude. even you like comment about that. Like I was just saying, like I never get taquitos. So I'm really excited. I've already used our little trash bag here and I love it. Bush Gardens, next left. Parking. Over there is Bush Gardens and it's across the street. You can like see the road there. Parking is on this side. We take a tram from here and it takes us across the road. They have a pet kennel if you have a dog that needs somewhere to go for the day if you are here visiting with your animal. Keep your animal, you can come back, walk your dog, and check on your dog throughout the day. And it's right by the parking lot. First ride of the day, the tram. Hello, Bush Gardens. We were able to put Malachi and Jason both in the system for their ride accessibility passes. So anytime they come to Bush Gardens or SeaWorld Parks in the future, they are able to get a ride accessibility pass for themselves so that they don't have to deal with anything that could overstimulate them or upset them within the parks while they are enjoying their day. Justin and Jason went over here to the Iron Guazi and got the accessibility pass filled out for the very first time. What are we looking at? What time? 12 o'clock and we'll be able to walk right onto the ride. That would be the event of the year. It's 2 0 Company, and we check out all leaks in the park and we also help hydrate people because hydration is very, very important. We were supposed so to fix the leaks, but we couldn't find any, so we made them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
right, ready? One, two, three. I think it's important to note that they do have first aid at SeaWorld and Busch Gardens. So if you need a place to rest out of the heat, if you need some normal medicines like digestion medicine or pain relievers, band-aids and such, they have them here. The kangaroo maybeary. Information about the different kind of kangaroo and then you can see them all here. Lounging around. Kabura Avery. Yeah, it's literally... Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes, he. Last kookaburra. Elmo's treetop track. jungle gym kind of area and of course there is the splash pad and chill area our friends hit some traffic on the way in but they should be coming in the park any minute now so I'm coming up here to meet them and then we'll walk back to where the boys are sitting I saw them I saw them going through the gate is going off with some friends for a little bit to hang out and play because they like to keep their feet on the ground. And right, it's time for us to go on the Iron Glossy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I honestly do not remember why I like roller coasters right now. That was insane. That thing throws you around. Oh my god. Uh, my neck cracked like five times in there. So your headache is gone now. <laughs> there is our side <laughs> we are about to go on Shikra. If you're wondering why you're not getting any footage of us on the roller coasters today, it is because my phone will not end up looking like this. Okay? The sign said that it does like an invisible like Congratulations, you have conquered Titans. this way so that your heart stays in the center as you turn. Fast on a roll. I feel like I'm gonna puke. I think I'm getting too old for this. No, you're not. If you're wondering if these all day dining deals are worth it, a chicken tender meal is $17.99. Plus a drink, you have to pay on top of it. We got our meals for free and that saved ourselves, what, 40 bucks? My mom gave me this cooling towel and I am super hot, so I'm gonna get it wet in the splash pad. Oh yeah, this is the way to do it. So much nicer. this is so cool. Oof. Thank you. See what I mean? See the angle? I have not had to wait for one bathroom, and as a woman, that is amazing. Bye, have a blast! Okay. You come up to a tiger's armpit, dude. My only guess that I could venture is that it's because it's the day before Memorial Day and school is not yet out in these areas. Otherwise, I don't know why there's barely any waits for any of these rides. If you ride the Congo River Rapids ride, whenever you come floating down here, people that are here on the bridge can pay to then shoot the water cannons at you and hopefully hit you with water while you're on your ride. Congo River Rapids, one of the best rides when it's 95 degrees out because you're more than likely to get wet. It's got nice and uh, wet for me on the ride. <laughs> Justin and Jason are gonna go on the roller coasters some more. I'm gonna hang out with Malachi and the crew and get some more food, just kind of hang out and chill, give me a little bit of relaxing time, not going on as many roller coasters.
left Tommy and them behind, and now we're doing our own stuff for a little bit. Go ride some rides. Jason, what do you want to do first? Scorpion. Okay, let's go. Where are we at? The Falcon. Let's see how tall it is. We're in line for the Serengeti Flyer. Meanwhile. <laughs> Finally made it over to the pizza place and we are getting pizza from Malachi for dinner. Alright, so I am back with Justin and Jason. We left Malachi to eat with our friends. We're getting in line for the Matu ride because it is only 10 minute wait. Just had to leave so that they could go pick up the rest of their family over at SeaWorld where they spent the day. Justin and Jason have two more rides to go on and Malachi and I are running over to the blob to see if he can have a few minutes of jumping time on there. Have fun! Malachi had a few minutes playing on the blob and now we are going to meet Justin and Jason. By the time we get back up front, they should be done with their rides and grabbing some food before we head out. I've been waiting for this day. But we have so much more to look forward to this summer. We're gonna go to the beach and we're gonna go to the springs. We have tons planned for this summer. Make sure you're following along so you don't miss any of it. And in case you're planning any Florida vacations, you can see some nice destination spots you might not have known about without our channel. Got a bunch of food. Bacon cheeseburger, chicken tenders, fries, and two desserts. Thanks, Bush Gardens. We got the girls picked up from our friend's house and of course because it was nearly 9 30 they were tired chandler was saying that she was not feeling good at all and she was looking like she was going to be sick we got them both some medicine so if they are getting sick they don't have any issues throughout the night hopefully got them cleaned up and changed in pajamas and we got them in their beds the boys are down the hall brushing their teeth and they have already changed into their pajamas and they are ready to hit the hay and justin and i will both be jumping in the shower before getting in bed ourselves because we are exhausted you guys went on all of the rides except for the log Log flume. Right. That's awesome. That log flume ride was down all day long. Like we literally watched the people walk off of the log flume ride line when they shut it down and it was still shut down at like 5 p.m. Overall a good day. It's Monday morning, Memorial Day to be more precise. Justin has been at work since 5 a.m. His lunch is supposed to be around 9, but he was saying that he'll probably be leaving early today just because of yesterday and being so exhausted. I have plans to go and spend the afternoon slash evening at my mom's house so that we can let the kids play in the sprinkler in the backyard. We're gonna have like hot dogs and hamburgers kind of a thing. Just a small little Memorial Day celebration just to get us out of our house and go to visit my mom for a little bit. Justin's lunch today is the burger from Bish Gardens. Fair game. It's fine. I didn't want it last okay. night, so it is fair game. I just think that it's funny. Like, we got the most out of those meal deals. I even brought some of our reusable Ziploc snack bags in case we wanted to bag up any leftover french fries or chicken tenders. And even though we didn't use the Ziploc bags, I'm still going to bring them with us to SeaWorld. We're all dressed and packed up and ready to go. We're getting in the car so that we can head over to my mom's house. Then the kids will start playing in the backyard in the sprinklers. We'll all hang out. We'll eat some snacks. We'll have some burgers and hot dogs for dinner and then we'll bring the family home to get ready for bed. Jason has four days left of school after this with his graduation from fifth grade being Wednesday. The kids are all set up in the backyard with their climbing toy that we brought over here and two sprinklers. One has a lower water pressure so it doesn't go as high, but this one, look at how high it is. It's going above the house. They're having a blast though. Dad over here supervising on the porch. Time to cut the watermelon. And then what do we want? A bowl or something? I've got to say, this is a very nice, calm, chill Memorial Day holiday. I very much enjoy it. We got popsicles if you eat all your dinner, okay? It's time for popsicles. Salt. 
Sound off in the comments if you like salt on your watermelon. Weird. No. Try it. No. That Chicken. is so weird. Chicken. Yeah. Watermelon is good as it is. <laughs> tiny, 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 tiny. Okay. All right. All right. No. Anyway, ew. Ugh. That's disgusting. Mm -mm. Nope. It's good. Okay. I can see how the salt brings out the sweetness of watermelon a bit more, but I'm not a fan. Watermelon's good as it is. <laughs> but again, I'd love to hear if you like salt on your watermelon or if you think it's crazy and you would never even try it or... If you've never tried it, never thought about it, but you'd be willing to try it. He came out of his yeah. his cage to play. Mm -hmm. I, like that. <laughs> I got everything of ours packed up and put in the car. Everyone is getting in the car, getting buckled up so that we can go home and get baths so that tomorrow Jason can go to one of four of his last days of fifth grade. Woo! On Mondays and Tuesday mornings, Justin works at 5 a.m. So I wake Jason up so he can get ready for school. Then we get all of the kids up, load everybody in the car, and I drop Jason off at school. Yesterday was Memorial Day, so there was no school. Today is the last Tuesday of the school year, and that means it's the last day that I will be taking Jason to school for fifth grade. So to mark the occasion and to make it a little bit special, we're going to stop through Dunkin' Donuts and get some donuts for everybody. Hi, I'm getting a uh, six count of donuts. Jelly filled. And it's going in here for you. There you go, Jason. I have an extra chocolate donut. Here, I'll give you an extra chocolate. Get your goodbyes. Focus on high five, Yeah. Hope you have a wonderful day. RP. Bye, Jason. Bye. Bye. Stopped back in and got two more donuts because Jason took an extra donut with him, giving him two. He's a big boy, so that's fine. And our friend will be here soon, so I wanted to make sure I had a donut for him as well. Jason has decided he no longer likes the long hair. He's going to get a shag kind of hairstyle done and in perfect timing for tomorrow evening's fifth grade graduation. Jason, after his haircut, do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. It looks really good on you. Here is what we made Jason for his fifth grade graduation. I'm still keeping it a secret. That's one side. Let me turn it around. There is the other side. It's all in a cup that he can reuse. And there's a card there for him that we all signed this morning. All right, we are all getting ourselves ready to go. And gonna get ourselves in the car in the next like 10 minutes to head out to where the graduation is happening at the local high school's auditorium. Justin is walking Jason up. We're about to get unbuckled and start walking up to the door so that we can wait in line for them to open those doors so that we can get the best seats possible. Jason! We are sitting right here. We're so close to him. Malachi did such a great job for the entire two hours that we were in that auditorium tonight. So I'm at Wawa to get him a Wawa's milkshake to let him know that we appreciate how well behaved he was. And we will get Jason back again on Saturday evening. And that will technically be the end of the first week of the Unschoolies Summer 2024. It's Saturday morning. We got everybody dressed and ready to go. We picked Justin up from work right at 10 o'clock. And we are at Home Depot making a grill gift card box for our dads for Father's Day. Justin is pretending he does not see what we're building today. Dad! Aw, oh, thanks, Dad. Here we go. I actually bring go. the kids pretty often to the Lowe's and Home Depot right. workshops. Justin usually works on Saturday mornings, but because he was off early enough, he was able to come with us. And even though we're making a Father's Day gift one, we still wanted him to be here and enjoy the experience. Come all over here, can you? Paint here for everybody to paint their projects, but we take ours home to paint them because it's just easier than traveling with three. 
wet projects. Last week, Justin took Jason to get some new swim trunks. They found a pair at Goodwill along with a rash guard that matched, but unfortunately, our Goodwill has gotten rid of their dressing rooms, so Jason didn't get to try it on and they didn't realize that it had a little bit of issues. Those are what we ran into on Sunday morning when we picked up Jason and he went to change for our Bush Gardens trip. And of course, because it's summer, we want him to have a good pair of swim trunks, maybe even two. It's Saturday, so the only thrift store in our area open is going to be Goodwill. And we're not even going to go through that again. So I looked on Facebook Marketplace and I found a woman that is selling multiple pairs of swim trunks. So Justin's going to take a trip with the girls tagging along to go and see if she has something that hopefully Jason can use all throughout the summer. Justin got two pairs of swim trunks for Jason. I really like this one. I think he's going to, especially with the zipper pocket. And the girls were given little gifts as well. These little squishy toys that light up. Chandler's won't light up anymore, but it's still I squishy. Do. Yours does. I'm ending the week by getting everything that we need together for our beach trip tomorrow. We've got everything in the van loaded up for tomorrow's beach trip. We just have to prep a few snacks and drinks for everybody. Then we'll be all set for week two of the Inschoolies Summer 2024 Adventures and Fun to begin. Make sure you're following along so you don't miss any of our summer fun. Later when Justin tells me that he's sore, I'll show him this video. Hey.